Hey guys, back again. Uh, so this is my six month slash nine month review of the 3D printer. Uh, if you watched my last video about the warranty, uh, you already heard me say that at the six month point, I was actually really frustrated and the review probably would have been pretty bad. Um, simply because of the fact that a stepper motor had blown, and since I was fairly new to 3D printing at the time, uh, still am, but I thought that it was because it was a bad printer. Um, turns out that wasn't the case, it was simply the stepper motor. Uh, so I'm glad that I actually waited and held off until it had been repaired under the warranty. Uh, I'll actually show it to you right now, just because I've got a print going. Uh, some of you may notice I've switched over to the blue painter's tape instead of um, glue anymore. Uh, it's just been working easier for me, and I've been really happy with it. I figure I'll show you guys some of the things I've printed more recently and tell you what their level of quality is. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's start with this guy, because this one's finished. So I ended up printing the Lagia Cruise uh, from Monster Hunter. He turned out fantastic. I absolutely love how this model turned out. Um, at this point, you you can't even see the layer lines. It's it's beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted it to turn out looking like. Uh, this was printed at a draft quality, 0.2 millimeters. Uh, it, it's fantastic, and I'm super happy with it. Um, I'll real quick show you one of the issues I had had. This, uh, this was one of the ones that was printed right before I had sent it back under the warranty. Uh, as you can see, you can see the hole right there. Uh, every single print I was doing was doing that. Very similar to what was happening here. That the head is actually off quite a bit. Um, yeah, that was that was one of the issues. But once it's been repaired, I've had no issues since then. Uh, this is one that I'm working on right now. It's going to be a, a skeleton dragon. Uh, this was printed at point zero eight. Uh, it's it's near flawless, guys. For models of this size and larger. This printer has just been spot on. Uh, this is one of the wings of the dragon. They just, they look fantastic. They're, they clean up really nicely. I really can't complain about that size model. Uh, one of the bad sides though, the actual model itself, he looks really good, but I'm sure you can see it even from here. That weapon looks atrocious. I'm gonna bring it over so you can see a little better. Yeah, the micro detailing on like weapons and things that are really thin that require little beating, it has a really hard time with. Um, that that right there is supposed to be a sword. Um, you can see it still has little bits that I need to spend a little bit of time and file off. Uh, for those that don't know what I'm working with here, this is uh, PETG. Um, I did operate for a little bit under a false assumption that PETG was supposed to be uh, temperatures of like 215 to 230. I don't know where I got those numbers from. I swear I saw them somewhere, but I was definitely wrong. So anyone working with uh, PETG, it's 235 to 265. Currently I'm printing at 250, which this printer can do easily. And it reaches, I think, 265 or 280, something like that. Um, let's see, let's, let's show some of our other successes up here. Uh, this is another rough draft. Pikachu that I did. Um, 
this was done at 0.2. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, you can see some layer lines, but you're kind of supposed to at that le level. Again, we got a bunch of miniatures there. Um, the weapons don't exactly look great, but the figures themselves came out really nice. Um, all of the black is PETG as well, all of the red is PLA. Uh, a couple of soldiers. Uh, this is actually PLA, I just already painted it. It's primered and ready for my next coating. Uh, for anyone that doesn't recognize these figures, but wants to know more about them, uh, they were part of the Kickstarter for um, the Lost Dragons, which you can actually still order and get in under late pledges because they haven't finished making all of the dragons yet. Um, it came with 14 different dragons, which I haven't finished printing them all yet, as well as multiple poses and dragonborns for quite a few of them, all at you know, a price of 60 It was definitely worth that. That's a little side note. Um, this was one of the last ones I printed before I sent it back to be repaired. Uh, you can see a lot of the rough detailing, like on the wings here. Um, that was one of the things that was really starting to bother me. I couldn't understand why that was happening, and happening again and again and again. I still like the dragon, and this particular one, it ended up working where it looks really good with it. Um, but I know a lot of people would have been really upset about that. Uh, let's see. This one was uh, printed at 0.16. Um, I think it turned out really well. It's definitely going to need a paint job, but... That's one of the Madness Dragons. I loved how that one turned out. I uh, also printed out quite a few of these, as well as the ship itself. Uh, the Kraken, this one's just on Thingiverse. Uh, it, it turned out fantastic. I did this one intentionally at a very rough uh, print job, so that, that way all of the detailing on that shell came out, which looks incredible. Um, yeah, all around, my six to nine month review, as long as you have the warranty and are willing to, you know, keep it up and, and accept that there are going to be a few issues here and there, it's a great printer. I highly recommend it. Um, I've been using Cura. That's, that seems to work best with this printer. Um, I, I tried a couple of the other ones, I just, I didn't like them, I didn't like Slicer. Um, uh, it might have just been me. Who knows, you might like Slicer better. But I thought that Cura works really well with this one, especially because this is a, um, not a knockoff version, but it's, it, it's a copy of the Wanhao Duplicator 6 which Cura already has a profile set for, which is a big help uh, starting it. Um, yeah, if anybody has any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll answer you as quick as I can. I know some people have asked for um, my Cura profile that I use for the better quality prints. I have it saved, I'm ready to upload it. If somebody knows a good spot for me to upload that and share with you guys, please let me know. Uh, see you in the comments. Thank you.